Yesterday was every student's, teacher's, and parent's worst nightmare. The death of multiple students and the shooting of others, including a teacher at Oxford High School, is horrific. We all have to be there for them in every way that we can to help them be strong and lift their spirits through our actions, not only our thoughts and prayers. We need more than thoughts and prayers. That's the message from Governor Whitmer this afternoon. She's calling for support for the Oxford community, saying it's our responsibility to build a state where no one is afraid to go to school. Now, the tragedy in Oxford putting new light on gun laws here in Michigan. And while leaders say that's a discussion that needs to happen soon, right now they want to focus on helping the victim's families and the community. If the incident yesterday with four children being murdered and multiple kids being injured is not enough to revisit our gun laws, I don't know what is. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald making a strong statement after announcing the charges the 15-year-old Oxford High School shooting suspect is now facing, accused of killing four students and injuring seven others. We ha I mean, we have to do better. How many times does, does this have to happen? How many times? Please rise for a moment of silence. Roughly 80 miles west of the high school where those students were gunned down, lawmakers at the state capitol in Lansing held a moment of silence for the victims. An emotional Senator Rosemary Bayer spoke about the village she represents, now marred by tragedy. I lived down the street from that school. I know the people in that town, that tiny little village. Such a beautiful place. You just never know. You never expect a tragedy, you never know. Just a horrible, senseless attack on children, by children. Bayer says her immediate focus is on helping the Oxford community in any way they need. I'm trying to imagine myself as that parent that I'm talking to and think, would I want to hear a bunch of legislators start arguing about legislation right now? No, I would not. I don't care about any of that. I don't care about any of that. You need to help me and get through this and give me take care of my kids. But as the chair of the Firearm Safety and Violence Prevention Caucus, Bayer has introduced several gun reform bills over the past year that have stalled in the GOP-led Michigan legislature, including universal background checks and enhanced penalties for improper gun storage. She says the time for action on those and more will come soon. We need to take action and we're not going to wait very long. We do want to make sure that we're taking care of the community and that we are putting the resources in there that we need to do, that we're very focused on that and those parents and those kids. And very, very quickly we are launching. And, and we have new bills too, new ideas, more new things that we're going to try to pull in and change the script in the legislature in Lansing. Meanwhile, Attorney General Dana Nessel is also urging the legislature to consider other means of gun control, such as red flag laws, which are used in other states, but not here in Michigan. And we'll have continuing coverage of the Oxford High School shooting. Stay with Fox 17 for future updates, both on air, online. You can also download our news app on your phone or tablet.